We're gonna brush because brushing my, oh my God. I wanna say this right now um, from the bottom of my heart. Sally Mae. Oh, don't drip, 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 drip. I'm not knocking anybody on their hustle. Let me tell you, unless it's hurting anyone, do what you want. Even when you feel stuck, even if you feel like, you know what, it wasn't worth it, this is the end, it's not. Your time will come. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon. Today has been a stressful morning. I woke up late, went to my psychiatry appointment late to the point where my psychiatrist did not show up. And now I took off two hours out of work. We're just gonna do some things that, that are gonna help me mellow out. This is gonna be a very stressful talk that we're talking about today too. So, you know, maybe doing something calming while talking about something stressful will really help. Skincare and conversation. Oh my God. Cindy Lou, who? <laughs> we're gonna brush my hair because that always feels good. And then we're gonna just do, of course, some skincare. I got this key light. I like using it at night, kind of like a night light. It's a little babe cave, but it just won't focus because it's so tiny. I had put in the community chat if you wanted me to talk about the downside to weight loss or graduating from college and you're still not in your field years later, what now? And surprisingly, a lot of you wanted that. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Oh, this feels so good. This is the headband we're using today. I feel so pretty. I'm oh, so pretty. The one thing about college is that you really need to know if it's for you. Unfortunately, since the age of 12, I had it beaten to my head that I was going to go to college. Whether it was home, school, TV, whatever. You know, someone was telling me, yeah, you're gonna go to college. Find out what you wanna go to college for. College, college, college. I thought, yeah, that was gonna be my only option. And if I didn't go to college, I was gonna be a bum. No one actually ever said that, but it just made it seem like that. Fast forward, go to community college. It isn't really what I want. I originally wanted to be some sort of like event planner, party planner, but any college that I looked into really didn't have that, or it was like under hospitality, and I just didn't really care for hotel work or anything like that. PJ, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know who PJ is. She wanted to be a fashion designer, so she told me to take fashion classes with her. I did, fell in love with it, found out about planning fashion shows, which I really wanted to do. And then when I looked into it, fashion marketing is what I should have chose. The only place I found fashion marketing that I was able to do was Academy of Art. There was that one other school, but they didn't have housing or uh, financial aid wouldn't cover housing. Also, they were like mean. They would look over your work and stuff that you did and just be like, Mm, maybe you should pick something else. Fashion isn't for you. It was it was horrible. I went to the Academy of Art and going to the Academy, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna get the best education. There's so many famous people who went here, you know, huge artists and creators who just made it big from going to the Academy. You know, this is gonna be me. I see myself in, in this future. Within the four years of school, the one thing I do like, about, what I did like about the Academy is that you take different type of fashion classes. So say you wanted to be a designer, but you started learning about all these different things, you decide instead of apparel, you wanna do costume. Or for me, for example, instead of planning fashion shows, I found love in social media marketing for fashion so that's that's what you end up studying and doing when doing research on schools I saw how expensive the Academy is personally for me because I had my own room or lived in the nicer dorms I paid the bigger price tag for a school year it was about 50,000 but in my head again I'm thinking I'm getting the best education when they when they have you do career projections and how much someone in your position would make starting out you're like oh yeah I could totally do this I personally feel like I didn't get the steps I needed to actually start a career or the opposite for some of my friends they kept suggesting classes that had nothing to do with their field they had like set in stone what they really wanted to do and instead of guiding them to what classes they should take they kept trying to give them like bs classes so out of college in my head i moved to la thinking heck yeah here comes, you know, my career in fashion. I really only got side jobs for like video editing, 
um, some social media promotion and it all looked good on a resume. But when I went to go apply for like fashion stuff, I would have a phone conversation with people. It seemed all good or whatever. And then when we did FaceTime or like in-person interviews, I just feel like the vibe changed completely. Just like, mm, oh, you're, you're Cleo. Like, okay. And then one guy literally just got on camera, looked at me and then hung up. Like that was the icing on the cake for me. The first two years, I just kept hitting a wall. I was getting small side jobs like for coaching, I think uh, a couple beauty things, but they were just all side projects and which sucked so much because don't get me wrong, I love what I do. I love creating, I love social media, I love fashion, but it's just like, th this is not what I pictured for me. This this wasn't. I was so driven to have this amazing, amazing career. But three years later, I'm working in insurance. <laughs> I'm kind of working a similar job to, you know, what I wanted to do. Kind of like internal marketing in a way. Oh, don't drip, don't drip, drip, drip. But it's not fashion, which is why I've been trying to launch vain for so many years because I, I just miss that so much. One of the walls, especially now, one of the walls running into is um, student loan replay repayment because, you know, a lot of people, 50,000, not even 50,000 covers all four years. The math for four years, for $50,000 for four years of school. Unless you have assistance from your parents, you, you know, did find a really good job or you won the lotto like you're not paying that back on a minimum wage salary not not even close i definitely struggled because i had a co-signer and honestly if it was just me i wouldn't mind struggling missing a payment and stuff like that but since it affects the other person there's a bigger urgency with dealing with this altogether i'm being transparent with y'all not including the federal loans that have just become active or will be coming active in october with private loans alone it's about 3300 a month. I don't even make 3300 a month. Things that I recommend doing is try calling your lenders and seeing what you can do. I want to say this right now um, from the bottom of my heart, <laughs> Sally Mae. If you are watching this and you have not applied for student loans yet, do not get Sally Mae. Sally Mae will screw you over. How student loans work, eight months or a year after you graduate, your loans will still be in forbearance, meaning you don't have to pay them off. What businesses fail to realize, which I don't think they do, I think they're just assholes. Sometimes it takes way more time than just a year to get into your career, especially to a point where you can pay back the loan. Like for example, they've basically destroyed my credit and did not want to work with me until the very last end that they were going to put me on default. They were like, okay, we have a program for you now. We can do it based off your income. Why wasn't this done in the first place? Here's the thing, it's not that I don't want to pay my student loans. It's that I literally can't. So why can't you base it off of the income from the beginning? I would have been glad to do that in the first place but no you had to destroy my life first but anyway other lender is college avenue which i love college avenue much more they basically had a forbearance that went along with the federal loans when i graduated in 2020 they had my loan payment on hold until 2022 which was amazing and even now like i call them and tell them my situation and like they'll put my loan on forbearance for a little bit and then after the little bit i do have to pay like a small amount i don't know how long they're gonna like allow me to do that but they work with me and they understand my situation i would say ways to prevent that though like if you can make extra money in any way i say do it get a second job you know if you're an artist like me find side jobs freelance like i don't know off a craigslist fiverr 
um, I don't, Facebook. <laughs> I know people who were doing like OF, you know? Don't, don't let anyone discourage you or say it's like immoral or anything like, none of your business. It's not, if it's not hurting you, don't worry about it. Because like, there are people who make good money on that. And I'm not knocking anybody on their hustle. Let me tell you, unless it's hurting anyone, do what you want, you know? But some things that you should remember if you're in a situation like I am right now. One, you didn't fail. It may feel like it, especially if it's been a while. You're like, I spent all this time in school. I've worked so hard. I think I was doing a great job and I feel like I have nothing to show for it. It does suck. <laughs> it does suck, let me tell you. But your day will come. And that brings me to point two, don't stop searching. If you are searching and you're seeing new things pop up on job ads like, oh, uh, we're learning, um, I don't know, this new version of Adobe or we uh, work on this type of thing. Find somewhere to learn the skill, brush up on the skill. If you're seeing it pop up more in job descriptions, you can get uh, classes off of uh, LinkedIn, I think possibly Indeed, hell, probably even Skillshare. But stuff like that, you know, keeping yourself brushed up but also still searching. If this is truly your dream and really what you want to do, still go out for it, fight for it. Or if you have the means, start your own business. Start from scratch if you're able to do so. It doesn't have to end here because it didn't continue after college. One of the things I have, actually, it's actually an affirmation I have on my wall. It says, I am not behind, I'm exactly where I need to be so even when you feel stuck even if you feel like you know what was it worth it this is the end it's not your time will come it's okay you can do this that is going to be it for this video I feel a lot better getting that off my chest I really do you know talking out loud as I've said before it's just kind of like talking to myself and what I need to hear and I'm glad you guys are here to to listen to me vent <laughs> and I really hope it helps someone out there dealing with the same issue so yes but thank you all for watching my video. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you do like my personality or the stuff that I'm talking about, definitely consider subscribing. There will be videos available at the end of this video. So definitely click on those and I will talk to you guys later.